I see a lot of people get like super into the club scene, super into drinking, and cocaine, and harder drugs. I know that's not me. I have my own ways to have fun. My name is Chris Evans and I live the straight edge lifestyle. To me, straight edge means you just don't drink, you don't smoke, and you're kind of just respectful of other people. Straight edge is very much a reaction to other people's bad behavior. It's not a straight edge barbershop per se. I mean, there's people who work at the shop who are straight edge. We're down with that. We get it. We're part of it. I was in the woods drinking and smoking and trying to buy weed. I remember a kid gave me a tape, had a bunch of hardcore on it. It was a band called Minor Threat, and it was a song called Straight Edge. And their delivery was just like, like getting punched in the head. It just woke me up and really tuned me into what they were saying. I have a tattoo of three X's. I have that on my leg. I recently got it done by a, a great friend of mine, Dave Monroe. My name is Dave Monroe, and I've been Straight Edge for 26 years. But what was happening is when you're a minor and you were attending a show to guarantee that you weren't going to get uh, any beverages from behind the bar, they would mark your hand with a giant black X. It just sort of evolved from the giant black X being your underage to, you know, someone who was actually sort of resisting the urge for, for alcohol at a show. I started drinking at a very young age, started drinking when I was eight. I didn't draw a sober breath by the time I was 11. Um, I had a lot of depression issues and a lot of anger issues. Uh, and I reached a point by 15 that my whole body was collapsing. And uh, you know, luckily I had skateboarding and music. And between those things, music led me to, you know, to straight edge. To me, straight edge means you're part of a, a bigger scene than you. You're sort of it's not necessarily a set of rules that you're gonna to have to live by because other people are under this pressure. It's a way of saying I identify with these beliefs and I want something to bond me to other people. Straight Edge is not for me because unfortunately I do like a little bit of alcohol. Like I like my beers, my martinis. I definitely think uh, out of all of Canada, St. John's is probably a little bit harder to live a straight edge life just because of our culture of, you know, going out and having like a beer with the boys. Pub culture, there's a lot of drinking there's, and people smoke. It's hard sometimes because I got a lot of friends who are still into the drugs and everything and I don't want to like lose all my friends. Some people go out and get smashed and then forget part of their night and hear them like, why would you do that to yourself? I do believe with the concepts of um, like having a lifestyle without those like substances and such but for me it's also a necessity for my health. It's not uncool not to drink, you know? Do your thing. When I wasn't drinking people were very off-put, you know, like and I wasn't giving them the story, well I'm driving, you know, like I just I didn't take it but people would buy me drinks and I'd have to politely refuse and it, some people took a lot of offense to it. People all the time uh, want to give me a beer, want to buy me a beer. In the early days, it was a little bit of a struggle to, to not go out and get wasted and really party hard and kind of be that person who's just ruined for like two days, because I used to be that. Music led me to straight edge and shows and led me to a community that helped me sort of get my feet back on the ground. I see it as very personal. It's, you know, it's a part of me. It's a part of how I handle things. It doesn't necessarily define me, but, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely one of the reasons that I've managed to stay alive. If that's who you want to be, own it. Put that X on your hand. Be it. Get up on stage. Sing a song about it. Express how good it is. Tell people what it's meant for your life. But if it's not for somebody else, that's fine. It's about inclusion, it's punk rock, it's not a religion. If you're different, fine. You be different, you do you, I'll do me. But let's just respect each other. Yeah.